It's cataractcoach.com, and we have an unusual situation here. We have a really deep set eye. There's an elderly patient where there's a loss of some orbital fat, a prominent brow, and the eye is very, very deep set. You can see it looks like we're operating just down a hole almost. Very narrow palpebral fissures, even difficult to put the fixation ring on the eye. But we'll start. We'll make our paracentesis. You can also see that the position of the eye, look where the corneal light reflex is. It's not in the center of the cornea. And now look at the tear film. Look at all the pooling of the fluid there. So let's try adjust the patient's head. Again, we want the corneal light reflex in the center of the cornea. There's that Purkinje image of the microscope lights. Still, though, there's a lot of fluid on the surface of the eye. Maybe a wick of some sort would be helpful here. Viscoelastic going inside the eye to protect the cornea. And we'll make our incision. Now, very important, of course, to make a great incision because that's going to set up the rest of the case. If it's a bad or leaky incision, it's going to cause issues throughout the case. And this is the kind of patient where, with a deep set eye, we don't want any other issues. Now, we've edited this video. I'm going to show you just the beginning part here. I'll show you the rexes, and then we'll skip to the end for the key teaching points. This is not going to be a complete video start to finish of one case. It's going to be edited. So here's our caps rex being made. And again, patient's really cooperating well. I talked to the patient at this point. I described the lights. I have them look at the lights, and I say, do you see those two larger lights that look the same? Then there's one other light off to the side. Watch carefully, and you'll see the lights will change on you. And that's important to keep the patient fixated on the lights. So we're done there. So a little higher dissection, but let's skip to the end of the case. Now the eye is already in the eye. Do you notice anything else going on? Yeah, we're using bounce salt solution to wash out the AC. Look at the speculum position, especially on the lower lid, the left bottom left corner of your screen. It already came off of the lid there. So this is such a deep set eye, the speculum doesn't quite fit. There's a lot of lid laxity. And that speculum is partially off the lower lid. And in fact, now the patient blinks a little bit and we'll take out the viscoelastic, whatever remnants are there. But we need to reposition that speculum. Look at that. It's just about to fall off. So hydrating and sealing the incisions here. And as we do this, we're going to have the entire speculum just pop out of the eye. So again, this is a challenge. These deep set eyes are not easy. So there's that speculum that's in the wrong position. We'll try reposition it. This, of course, exposes the lid margin a little bit. That's why I waited to reposition until after we sealed the incision. And now let's just confirm that the incision sealed. So deep set eyes have a lot of challenges. Some people may even advise doing a retrobulbar injection because the retrobulbar injection will add some orbital volume and hopefully prop the eye a little bit.